Why would you throw that out of your cart? Did pick you take up. a picture of me? I did. Pick let, it up. Let, let me pose. Yeah, well, pick it up. It's nobody's, it's nobody's job to pick up your trash. Am I obedient? Yeah. Yeah, you are. You, you're dirty, too. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma had other thoughts on her mind. She said, well, let me pose. Am I obedient? It sounds like Grandma trying to let that monkey out the cage. <laughs> it's been locked up in the zoo too long. So I was like thinking like if you were like in my bed or something and I turned the fan on, like you would fly across my room because you're like really skinny. But I like skinny guys, but you're like really skinny. And then I was also thinking like... If I was in the bed with you and I'd lay my head on your chest, it would feel like I'm laying on a pile of dishes or something, so I didn't want to, you know. Yeah. But you're cute, though, oh, so. No. Thank you, thank you. Okay. I I'm 205 pounds, by the way. Oh. Um, okay. Whoever came up with this Pop the Balloon dating idea, genius. Because one, it's entertaining as f Two, it just shows you how stupid some of the criteria that women and some men be having for dating. And on top of that, too, it exposes how childish people become after being rejected. Young lady, I ain't gonna lie, you do have the yams, but I do feel as though that's all you have to offer. He not skinny at all. So the fact that that's the first thing you went to, that means you ain't had nothing else to say. Now I might have to find the episodes. Like, I be trying not to react to these type of videos, but now I might have to find that episode just to get to that part because I want to know why she trying to go in. She said if she was laying on his chest, it would feel like she was laying on a pile of dishes. Pile of damn dishes. Bitch could have said a pile of sticks or something. Bitch said a pile of dishes. You thinking my food, ain't you? That's what y'all do. Y'all can have good sex and then like have post nut Don't matter. We really don't mean no harm. I, in my past, I haven't. I really be feeling a chick. You have sex and they just be like, what the hell am I doing? Mm. It's like masturbating. Like I've been the horniest I've ever been in life. I've masturbated. And then I just feel like my great grandmother just looking down on me from I'm heaven, just that judging too. me. Yeah. Yo, that post nut disgust after you choke the chicken be crazy. Matter of fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him. <laughs> that shit is dis. It'd be like, ugh. I thought I was the only one. I'm like, you know, I know my angels is watching over me, but can you not watch right now? But you feel like that afterwards or during it? I've had a really bad masturbation session where like family comes into my brain and everything. I just... Wait, what? <sighs> That's disgusting. That is yeah, disgusting. It's like, you know. So, you know, that's why I like I have a visual so like I can stay focused, you know, because I used to try to do it for my mind, but it, like other shit came coming in. I'm like, oh god damn it. And if somebody called, oh god. Yeah. So, the whole shit up. Yeah. yeah. To me, I don't get this right. While I'm doing it, pfft, yeah. Nah. But after it just be like, yo, what was what was that's disgusting? Like Facts. why did I just do that? We like family. And I've already told you how I feel about that. Choking the chicken. Cleaning the fish, I don't know what you want to call it. Having visuals while you're doing that. All of that is not good for you, bro. Choking the chicken might, you know, sometimes you do need to choke the chicken. You might you need to release or whatever. But having the visuals is not good. Because having them visuals give you unnecessary expectations. And then when you actually have somebody to do it with in real life, it affects you. You feel me? Because those visuals, they getting up here. I don't even want to go too far into this shit. But... The worst thing is you in this month, you gonna set the mood, you got candles lit, the lotion done reached room temperature, and you about to go crazy, and then one of your peoples call you on the phone. I done had some times when I'm in here about to get right, and one of my men's gonna call me on the phone. Now I gotta postpone the shit till next week, because I ain't finna choke chicken after I answer the phone for you. It's a wrap. You that, mm. <laughs> it's a wrap. It's just pause. I be having to turn my phone off sometime. But then, even with that, <laughs> damn, I'm finna expose myself. I, back in the day, I used to have a problem, man. So, to avoid that, I had two phones. Damn, this bad. This is some sad shit here. So, I turned the one off that got cellular service. And then I had my other joint. And I used the Wi-Fi. That way, nobody could contact me while I'm, you know. But then the crazy thing is after. I feel as though everybody have this. Right after, bro, you be sitting there like, what is wrong with you? Like, what is wrong with you? 
Especially like if it's been six, seven months, cause I've gone like six, seven months without choking a chicken, bro. And I be like, yeah, I'm going, I'm going year strong. I'm going to year strong. I'm, I'm. As soon as I break that year, dog, and then your inner self get to talking to you, and you just be sitting there, handful of lotion. You nasty mother. You just couldn't control yourself, could you? You have no self-control. You know the government could look at you through your camera phone, right? Metro white BBWs. That's what you're looking for? I hope your wife see your search history, you goddamn slut. If you are addicted to choking your chick and go seek help. I don't feel as though I'm addicted, you feel me? It just sometimes, man, it be necessary. You know what I mean? But I do be going months upon months without doing it. And then, you know, I relapse. I still know it's a few of y'all that watch these videos religiously that aren't subscribed. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And make sure you got the notification bell selected to all. That way you can get all the notifications when I upload these videos. Stop playing with me. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get right. So, so we're going to go to random people and ask them if you're Okay. Is that cool? Yeah. Say no more. Can I this? Yeah. Look at her. Is she a catfish or not? Yeah, she a catfish. Yeah, absolutely. It don't look the same. That's not the same person. I'm not seeing the same person. She's pretty. Wait. <laughs> what would you rate her here? What would you rate in person? Um, seven out of ten. Seven out of ten here? Yeah, in the picture. What would you rate in person? Six out of ten. Wow. <laughs> wow. All right then. Say no more. Say no more. Uh, cool. I need someone. Hold on. I want to say something. I feel as though in Britain, black dudes don't really like black women like that. Now, I have family that live in England. They all date white women. In fact, <laughs> all my cousins are, are mixed because God rest the dead, man. I miss my uncle so much, but all his women were white. I don't have a problem with it. I don't think it's a big deal. If you black and you want to date a white woman, whatever, it is what it is. Now, where I have a problem with it is situations like this because she's not ugly. I don't like how he, I don't like that. I feel as though he'd prefer white women and he's, yeah. That, that's just my take on the situation. I think he prefer white women and he's judging based on his preference. Do you think she's okay? Be honest. She looked the same. I don't know. You she know. looks the same. What? It's, you know what? I respect it, no filter. Fair enough. I think you're a catfish. Mm, mm. You look better in person. Ooh, reverse catfish in that. Are you? Yeah, yeah. I don't, what's this? Is this you at work? Mm. What's, what's the what's the blue? I don't. Like, I'm just like a night or That's it. Mm. No, nah, she's not a catfish. She's not a catfish still. I'm not gonna lie. Reverse catfish? No, right, reverse catfish. I'm not gonna lie. So she looks better here. Yeah, 100. Thank you. That's good. What do you mean? Ah, that's good. Black is good. So we're gonna go to random. Thank you. Thank you. I respect that. I don't know what it is about some of you men, man. I don't know what it is about some of you black men that feel the need to insult dark-skinned women. Dark-skinned women are beautiful. Light-skinned women are beautiful. Caramel-skinned women are beautiful. Please stop hating on our dark-skinned sisters. Yes, I do prefer dark-skinned women. That's my preference. You know what I'm saying? Ain't, ain't nothing like when some water hit that skin and they get the glistening. It look like black diamonds. That's just my take. I was finna say something else, but I ain't gonna go too far on YouTube. You feel me? But the the contrast and color is beautiful. That's all I'ma say. Okay? Hold on, girl. Hold on, girl. Hold on, girl. I am a big fan. And I see that my man right there is vertically challenged. Baby girl, this better not be no short man slander because I am a big fan. Let me show the whole video because I paused it. Let me let me show y'all what she did just now. I tell you one thing though, that little motherfucker could pick you up. <laughs> His little ass will pick you up. He'll probably take you through there. They always be coming at us short brothers, man. 
Short Kings Unite. Why? I'm washing my truck, right? I'm wiping my truck down, right? Dude pull up on me in a minivan. A fucking minivan, yo. A minivan. So, first thing, he said, how you doing, beautiful? Good morning, it's a beautiful Sunday, blase, blase. He said, what's your name? I said, oh, my name, Carissa. I said, how, how long you been married? He was like, what? I said, how long you been married? He said, why you ask me that? I say only married men pull up in minivans. Married men with <laughs> and possibly grandkids. A churn. A single man not gonna buy no minivan. Even if they have a child, a churn, they're not gonna buy a minivan. She has a point. He was like, "Damn, you real observant." I said, "I done seen some things, so I know better." So he was like, "Well, I've been married for um, eleven years." I say you have a happy Sunday, love. I'm going to keep you in my prayers. You married 11 years trying to pick women up in the family minivan? Come on, my boy. You got to do better. You got to do better. I can't even say nothing bad about her. For real, for real. She observant and she know what time it was. You know, talking about minivans, bro. Y'all boys that be getting the minivans, stay in y'all lane, dog. Soccer dads and soccer moms stay in y'all lane. Anytime I get on the highway, it's either a soccer dad or a soccer mom trying to race me in my damn challenger. Leave me alone. And soccer moms be the worst ones. Y'all the reason why the insurance is so damn high out here in Georgia. Because y'all the main ones either hitting somebody in the back or sideswiping somebody. Y'all and the senior citizens, the damn geriatrics. I shouldn't have said that. This is just a PSA. I was just biking, and as I was biking, minding my business, some people threw water balloons out of their car and hit me and screamed. And I'm picking up the little bit that's left here, but just a PSA that that is not okay. And it really is physical assault. So, just so you know, you have a point. I didn't even know people did this, but. Man up. Man up, dude. Do I need say man up. I don't even need the lighter for that one. Man up. You know what I'm saying? What you scared of water? I love water. I love water so much. I'll be taking showers and stuff. You know what I'm saying? This is just a PSA. All I'm going to say is I understand her concern, but baby girl, it could have been worse. That water balloon could have been filled with pee pee. Or it could have been worse. Somebody could have threw a frozen egg at you. But I understand, you know, you don't want nobody throwing no water on you from out of nowhere. So I get what you're saying. And to be quite honest with you, I'm going to retract all them statements I just said because if somebody threw a water balloon at me, I'm I'm not going to say it. Okay. Zeddy tries to twerk on Z Wait, Zoe tries to twerk on Zeddy, but he folds. He folded? Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know what they got going on in their personal life, but I want this man to hit that thing so bad. But you know what? If he has not hit ever since they've been friends, I could understand because it probably wouldn't mess up their dynamic. But I be rooting for this. Anytime I see her do videos with somebody else, I be hating. You feel me? Cause to be quite honest with you, I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it a bing. I be worried about with Talil. I be worried about Talil, bro. You know how they be looking at Duke Dennis? Duke Dennis is the boogeyman. Like you literally don't want Duke coming around when you got bitches around. But they sleeping on Talil. I grew up around bitches like Talil, bro. There's a point in time I seen her streaming with Talil, and I was like, oh, she gone. But I be rooting for you, dog. How you folded just now? What's up? Fellas, 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 fellas. Yo, TV, 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 do that. TV, 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 TV. The moment was too big. The moment was too big. You feel me? But it's more opportunities. Nah, you, nah, you f that up. Just chase your dreams. You feel me? Just keep chasing dreams, and the opportunities is going. L Z. These are some of the streamers I actually watch on the internet. I be rooting for him.
I be wanting him. I want him to take that down. But I understand why you shouldn't. Y'all are probably making good money together. That dynamic ain't changed. Whatever. Just keep it how it is, bro. But Talil, Mr. That motherfucker. Y'all gotta watch him.